Suspected gang members are now behind bars. Now police are scouring the streets searching for the ninth man they believe is involved in a criminal enterprise between two different gangs. Paul Gessler is live outside of police headquarters with more on this gang takedown. Now, Paul, we understand these suspects are no strangers to law enforcement. They, they are not, Kai. These indictments come out of Baltimore City Police Department's war room where they partner with federal agencies to target violent crime. The gang is tied to several murders, including dozens of aggravated assaults, shootings, and armed robberies. These are the eight men city and federal authorities arrested last week, calling them members of the Edmondson Avenue Bloods connected to the Black Gorilla family. We're talking about the same old guys doing the same old thing wreaking havoc in certain geographical parts of our city. Law enforcement officials say the EA Bloods, or the Brick City crew, controlled an area in West Baltimore equivalent to about one square mile. Their graffiti is visible on vacants and even this school playground. I'm not surprised by the numbers of the people that are arrested or the amount of the material that comes out because this is, everybody knows, this is what's going on every day. Guardian Angel leader Marcus Dent says the arrests send a message to those who may fill the criminal void. The vacuum is going to be filled by somebody else. There's no doubt about it. They're like little businesses. You know, somebody quits, you always got somebody else coming in to fill the seat. Authorities associate 19 murders in this gang's known territory over the past three years. Authorities right now only have cases on two of them, with more, we are told, forthcoming. And those murders are the incidents that actually draw in the attention of everyone. City police say the EA Bloods, led by Brandon Pride, have a history of violent witness intimidation. If anyone provides information, they have the ability to reach out and actually murder someone based off of their presumption that information was provided. Pride, the alleged kingpin, has pleaded down a drug case and murder case in which he served three years of a 10-year sentence. The ATF says they believe this case will stick. I do not believe that that will continue that, that systemic trend um, that, that that these offenders will, will be back in our, in our midst again. Um, We're back live now outside Baltimore City Police Headquarters. Now Strider from the Guardian Angels also wanted to stress the community has a part in positively filling that gap in the void left by these arrests. Now charges for these uh, alleged gang members range from murder to drug distribution. Police say the gang trafficked heroin and fentanyl. We're live downtown this evening. Paul Gester, Fox 45 News.